So every single time anything new comes out in Smash Brothers, it's almost as if on purpose it gets messed up in some form or fashion. And we've seen this with the Amiibo, we've seen this with a lot of the characters, and let's not forget my dude T-Man who had that really glitched up Wii U that played Smash Brothers in a real fucked up manner. Um, that was a while ago, but now we apparently have some YouTube glitches. I don't exactly know the manner or how they're done though, I was just linked to the information on the Miiverse by somebody with a crazy name, somebody A. Chris loves music, something like that. Either way, this involves some kind of Mewtwo glitch, and I did see some pictures on Twitter beforehand, and they kind of showcased Mewtwo in like a fucked up, warped, small sense. It looked strange to me, and I don't know the details, so we're going to find out together right now. Let's take a look at this, and shout out to you for showing me this. Let's see what's going on here, because right now, yeah, this is the exact picture I saw. Apparently Mewtwo is, uh, he's been hitting leg day a little bit too much, and this man's head, for some reason, is really, sh what the hell? It's a little weird, but okay, so my Mewtwo glitched apparently, and this is the only post that he made on this. There's got to be a little bit more. Maybe if I can reverse search the image, nothing else might pop up. Of course nothing else pops up. But um, yeah, I've seen these images of this glitch Mewtwo around. Um, because this is my first time seeing it, I don't know if there's anything else that's covering it, or if there's more information as to what the hell's going on or what caused it. Apparently this guy's been posting a lot of stuff towards me, but um, like, how the hell do these things even happen? I guess maybe he was just randomly playing the game and boom. Let's see if he posted any more because maybe he has more pictures out there. Um, no, his last post was on, yeah, his last post was on April 11th, so I mean, oh, well, nine. Okay, three hours ago, there's a UFO on the map and then the last thing that he posted was his Mewtwo being glitched here. But here's the thing though, I've seen other glitches as well today too, and I saw one on Kotaku, and as much as I don't really like Kotaku too much, we'll go and check them out anyways, because they did have more information on this Mewtwo glitch. So let's go to their website really quick. This will also be in the description. Yeah, I think this is what I saw beforehand. Um, Smash Brothers players found a way to break Mewtwo. This one will probably give us some more information. Maybe it won't be the same glitch, but it'll be something you know, it considered in the same fashion, because, you know, it'll be a fucked up glitch. Um, the most menacing Pokemon of all time can become quite game-breaking in the hands of savvy Smash players. Following the early release of Mewtwo for Club Nintendo members, Smash Brothers players have found a curious bug that can transform Mewtwo into a god. While Mewtwo does not have custom moves, players figured out that if you import a Mew onto your system, then view them in the Cavalry, blah, 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 we've seen this. Um, the result is a Mewtwo that can become invincible, invisible, or just plain unpredictable. Um, Mancolor shows the many hijinks that can occur when you use custom moves Mewtwo in the Smash Brothers in this video. So um, let's actually take a look at his channel too because um, this guy might actually have a lot more stuff to offer than just a YouTube video. Um, let's see. Right, so he does a lot of gaming videos as well too and it seems like he's been doing some coverage on the... Wait, oh wait, this is the guy that did the original video. Yeah, Mancolor here, the, the, the guy with the funny voice. No offense to you, man. I'm not trying to like cut ass on you in public, but I mean, your voice had a very unique feeling to it. So I mean, yeah, this is the same guy that we saw beforehand. Um, so he apparently he's doing a lot more coverage on the Mewtwo glitch and it seems like he has another video as well too. I mean, excuse me, another video that's out as well too. So why not fucking see exactly what this one has to offer from my dude Mangalore because he, he had some really great coverage of that Mewtwo custom glitch thing. I mean, yeah, all right. So got my headphones in. Let's see exactly what's going on here. And of course, you, you guys should definitely go down to his channel, throw him a subscription as well, too. Uh, it seems like he's doing a lot of stuff with this glitch stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um, the quality doesn't seem like it's... Okay, here we go. Okay, so... So I, I do remember this, when he kind of had the, um, the thing where their body stays under them. And then when he does his final smash, doesn't he, like, turn invisible? Or he does, like, the spinning thing. Yeah, there we go, he turns invisible, so. This doesn't really showcase how he becomes, like, small-headed, but we'll see. Damn, Robin hitting up. What the hell? That's so weird, so his... They're not attacking anything, though. Really strange, so his... What the hell? What the fuck? You only get one grab on Mewtwo in this state.
What the hell? Can you release him? So this guy's really been doing a lot of experimentation with this thing. What? Damn, man, Kalor, props to you, dude. Like, holy shit. You can tell this man did his research on this. For him to be able to know exactly what attributes are caused every single time someone does a final smash or like a grab to Mewtwo, that takes a lot of experimentation right there. Very impressive. And now you have Mewtwo stuck like that? What the fuck? It looks cool, though. It looks very cool. Really weird. I've seen this GIF too, because Kotaku posted it earlier. So he can still be hit, but it seems like he's not like flinching at all. Damn, this dude Mackalore really tried out a whole lot of different scenarios on Mewtwo to see exactly what works on him in this glitch. And didn't it originally wind up that pressing neutral B with Mewtwo in this stage would cause the game to crash, but somehow he bypassed that, or maybe he's using a different custom altogether. Wario's movement tricks, man. And then doing that, his head, look at that shit, what the hell's going on here? What the hell? Yo, that is so fucking weird. And his legs, yeah, damn, you guys seeing Mewtwo's legs right now? I mean, we noticed this from the trailer, but Mewtwo's legs got some definition on them, like, god damn. <laughs> Looking kinda thick, Mewtwo, shit. Oh, man. Okay, so, he's showing us a preset. Is that Batman? Well, either way, guys. Wait, what the fuck? Well, you know what? Either way, go check out the original video in the description. That's gonna be linked up because this seems like it has hilarity in a whole lot of ways. Mangalore, you get props, dude, because you did a whole lot of research in order to see exactly what you could manipulate with Mewtwo. Finding out the whole thing about Wario grabbing him with the B was kind of good stuff. I like that. So, I mean, um, by all means, guys, if you're feeling like you have the endurance and the time to spend figuring out what makes this Mewtwo thing tweak, then, hey, you're more than welcome to try it, I suppose. But, yeah, Mangalore, you definitely get props, man. That whole thing with Wario was so weird, man. Like, with the, with the head shrinking thing. I mean, it looked weird in the picture, but in the video, man, it just... It has a totally different vibe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.